so yeah, man, just give me give me about fifteen minutes. I'll be over there. Okay. Dang. Okay. That's quick. Okay. Word. word. That's quick. I'm ready. You sure no, you'll be that's ready? Good. That's, no, 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 no. That's good. That's good. You gotta be careful coming to Comax. I've actually fell down those stairs, right there. And you know, ever since then, since I made that fall, I have never walked down there. I, I take my time now. He's he actually has to come outside and escort me down the stairs. But you know, it, it was very traumatic. Tailbone was killing me for like a month. Anyway, guys, peace and love. Today we have the Jordan One High OG Rust Pink. And boy, look what happened to that box. That box. You know, I had a tough trip. That's okay, though. I can't really repair that. Um, so it is what it is. We don't wear the box. We don't... Never mind. Never mind. And um, so we got white, black, and rust pink, nine and a half. And this pair, believe it or not, is kind of hard to get a client to send you this sneaker for, for free. Let's say that. Because it's kind of older. They usually want you to review the newer stuff. So getting them to send me these was, was really a blessing. You know what I'm saying? So peace and love to the gifter so what do we have again we have the rust pinks right and this the shoe really reminds me of the the okra <laughs> the jordan one okra that i just did and what i mean by yeah the colorway but more of the shape it really more look it really looks like this one right here this is the shoe it really reminds me of see yeah like the build color everything you guys get it and here's a picture off the internet like sneaker bar detroit Here's another one, just kind of give you guys an idea of what the retails are looking like. Now, if you look at this picture from Goat, if you zoom in, um, the check is like a uh, tumble leather. And if you see right here, it's, it's not tumble leather. And right here, real quick, we got Russ and the Russ Pinks. Russell Westbrook, Russ Pink. Yeah, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Let's, let's keep moving. And uh, let's just look at some close-ups here. We got the Air Jordan stamp. To me, that looks good. I'm not sure about placement, how valid that is. We got the rust pink bottoms, and um, that's always cool. I like pink. Like, I'm, I'm a pink dude, so pink, I rock. You know, they say real men wear it. I don't care. But on this sneaker, it just looks dope. I just wish, like, the sneaker shape. Like, look at the toe box shape. These these tend to come, any black toes, I notice they tend to come um, really kind of boxy in the toe box, and I've been kind of shaping those a little bit which i'll show you here in a second now look at look at the toe boxes this is kind of before pictures before i start getting into the toe box shape and i promise you guys i do this it's not going to be the deepest material it's going to be that one off to the right but this isn't going to be like the deepest tutorial basically grab a heat gun grab these angelus shoe horns they work marvelously they're they're very important to this and make sure the shoes are fully tied up it really helps with the shape I just kind of did this on the fly to show you guys how I'm doing it because I got a lot of questions on it when I posted this on the gram. And you simply just shape the toe box from the inside, then you take the heat gun and warm it up. And you got to keep moving too. You don't want to stay in one spot. Just like anything you would use a heat gun for, keep it moving and then use your hand to kind of shape it to kind of lower the profile, just getting rid of some of the boxiness. It's not going to look like something from 1985, but it will have more of a contoured shape. So you got to kind of pull down again. I'm pulling it over the Angelus shoehorn inside. Actually, that's a shoe tree, not a shoehorn. I, sh I showed you guys what a shoe horn is. With this, watch. Ooh, it's a shoe tree, and that's kind of the result you'll get. The shoe's still really warm; it hasn't formed yet, but that's kind of the more contoured, sleek back. So the one on the left hasn't been touched, and the one on the right has been touched and it's hard to tell i should have used a white background but you know it is what it is so that's that now the results I, I got pretty good results and i put this picture here on ig and everybody was like whoa how'd you do that and that was the, the yellow um okras now black light black light what did we find under the black light pretty much nothing right a little something on the swoosh i see there a little something on the black part with a white and leather white and black leather meat there's a little something there let's grab the other shoe the other shoe looks good and i see something on the toe box it's real minimal it's really minimal everything looks good oh, oh there it is there it is that's what i was looking for the ex stamp and again the stamp doesn't mean anything to me i just like to point it out because it's there and i know there's scammers out there that watch this stuff i'm like oh these have a stamp and i mean you can wash the stamp off 
And I'm not condoning scamming. It's just, you know what I'm saying. You know. All right, all right, all right. Let's get this video going. Let's see where are we at. Ah, okay. That's where we are. Let's get the Wi-Fi on. Ha ha. There we go. Uh, how's it going? How's it going? Howdy, guys. How's it going? Um, here we are. You know, I didn't want to come back to this spot, but I got to do what I got to do because they've been hitting me up. I got like eight messages from this seller and I haven't even opened them, but I could see the first line says, friend, when can we expect? And I'm like, all right, all right. You know, when it gets done, it gets done. It's not like I'm not trying to do the videos. I just had so many videos to, to review and that's not their problem by any means. Like, because I have so much work to do, that doesn't have anything to do with them sending me a sneaker. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm not like making the hugest deal. But the video's still gonna come out when the video comes out. So God willing. But yeah, that's um that's pretty much it. I don't really have much today. I just I'm trying to get back home so I can go edit this video right here so I can get them off me and on to the next. After this shoe, I should have about three more pairs left. And then this vlog stops, or these reviews stop, or whatever you want to call this stops and until the next pair comes in. So we'll just have to see. Like I've been saying this whole journey, I appreciate you guys for just rocking with me this whole time. It has been a hustle. It has been a grind. I can't do it without you guys. Like I can watch my video, that's only one view. I can go to the Apple store and turn it on there. That's like a couple views, but you guys are the reason why these videos are getting circulated. It's your eyeballs that make these videos possible. You know what I'm saying? Plus the camera also makes this possible too. But you know what I mean? You, you know exactly what I mean. This beat is dope. Like, homage be killing it, man. And my dude's Sakai Beats is Psyche? Psyche Beats? I like your beats too. I've been using your stuff too. TikTok is actually starting to turn into like my main source of information and I, I know that's not too good. Maybe. And the seller, I'm so sorry the video took long. I apologize. It's just, I'm sorry. HTX? My man AB. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man AB out of Houston, makes amazing content. I really love his content. We're both on that whole positive vibe thing, you know what I'm saying? He's more positive than I am, I'll tell you guys right now. He's way, he's way more positive than I am, but 